Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a tutorial. So if you know my channel then you probably also know that I do a lot of tiny homes and micro homes and everything. And I know that a lot of people do struggle with that. But I think you don't actually need to because it's super easy if you just know some kind of tips and tricks and I'm going to show you these. And for this tutorial I'm only going to use base game Tiny Living obviously, cats and dogs and also get together. So I think that anyone can build tiny homes and you don't even need like a massive amount of packs for that. So first thing you want to do is enter the cheat bb.move objects. With that sheet you can place items wherever you want to and this is like essential for a micro home. So this is the box that I created and now I will just add a roof here on the side. What I think I want to do is add a little entrance area here but I want to have the house on a platform like that on a foundation. And it's a little bit difficult like that because you cannot place a foundation here because that would count as tiles and therefore we cannot do that since I already used 32 tiles. And what I am going to do is use the terrain tool and just raise up here this area a little bit and then I will just place some floor tiles here and I will just place a stairs here so that your sims can go up and then you can also like just click this button here the flatten lot and like that everything around it is normal again and I think foundations give so much more like detail and depth to your houses and therefore I quite enjoy to do this sometimes. It's just going to be a little bit tricky to cover this up here because I think this looks a little bit weird and I'm going to do that later on. So first I'm going to add another roof here and now you can see that the roof is kind of too big here and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I will click shift on my keyboard and then I can drag this arrow here and like that I can only add it one side and now you can see like here it it's not looking nice I think <laughs> so I will just copy this roof and place it here and do the same thing just press shift and drag this arrow and like that you have a perfect little roof I would say <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing here because because I am going to use these tiles here as a little rooftop area. So because you can actually, you can use these tiles, but you don't want to make it a room. And what I'm going to do is just place down some half walls here like that. And this doesn't count to the tiles. So you can see still 32 tiles. But however, if I would like drag something here and also here, like now I do have a full closed room, then it does count. So I won't do that because I still want to add a ladder here. That's why I left this free. And here I basically don't even need some like walls because you don't even see them anyway. And here on the back of the house, I will just do quickly the same like on the front. Also another tip that I can give you is use as much exterior space as possible because on the interior you don't have much space and therefore you would want to use the outside space as well. Next thing that I'm going to do is add a little chimney and I'm going to add the chimney in a way that it doesn't count up to the tiles. <laughs> I think I will place it here and what I'm going to do is just drag a wall here and another one here and now if I do it like that it will count to the tiles again. So I will drag a wall here just like that and then just move it here and now you have walls everywhere but it doesn't count to the tile count. So I will just add a half wall like here on top also and I'm just going to do it in the same way. So I will add a wall here on the same level because I think that makes it easier. And then I'm just going to place it here and now we do have a little fake chimney. <laughs> so now let's have a closer look 
on the interior. I think I will just place the bedroom here because you technically only need six tiles for a functional bedroom. And then we can make this here a little hallway and here is going to be a bathroom. And yes, this is what you technically need for a bathroom. You can also make bathrooms smaller like smaller than that, but I don't like how this looks. So therefore I'm only doing it like that. This is the smallest bathroom that I would make, I think. But more to the bathroom when we are like decorating the interior. <laughs> and then here is going to be the kitchen because you only need four tiles for a kitchen. I think I will add another like bump out here on the side. And I think I want to have another room here like that. But now I have 34 tiles. So what I'm going to do is like cheat a little bit maybe <laughs> I would say. So I will jack the wall here like that because here I think I would want to add a wardrobe from get together this one. You can add this and you don't need real tiles underneath it. So I can just do the same thing that I did with the chimney. Just place this like that and another wall here which I will place down there and like that. We have 32 tiles again but still a functional closet which is amazing I think. And yeah like that the shape is finished I would say. So here is another thing that I wanted to show you. You could however cheat a little bit more with the tiles and I could like add a whole room here maybe like that and again just place the wall somewhere else and place it here and I could drag the roof here and like that I still I have room here and it doesn't count to the tiles. However the lighting here is pretty weird and that's because Sims doesn't recognize this as a room and still thinks it's outdoor <laughs> outside so it has this outside lighting. It's technically just the same like in this room but you don't see the inside of this room so it doesn't matter for me. So now I think I will just add a bunch of windows and decorate the exterior a little bit. And one thing I also like to do is add a little roof or like not a real roof, it's more like a fake roof. And I'm just going to use this uh, base game fence and just make a little pattern here. <laughs> and like that you can see that again it's now 44 tiles and I'm just going to delete all of those. And like that we are going to end up with... 32 tiles again. <laughs> and now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about exterior trims. So these trims I think they look amazing and they make everything look nicer. <laughs> but now I also want to have some trim here because it would look nicer with a trim and also here in front. And uh, normally you can just place down a platform here like that. And then you could just basically do place this here and then it looks like that. But however, we cannot do that since it's a platform and we don't want platforms here <laughs> because they count to the tiles. And what I'm going to do is just use this base game fence again and just do it like that. <laughs> and now you are able to place this here. And you can do that with the whole roof also, but if you would want to place a fence here as well, it adds up to the tile count again, because now you just created a room here. So what you're going to do is just do the same thing like you did before. <laughs> Drag a wall here and then just move it there. And like that, it doesn't count to the tile count, but you can still add this here. So now I'm going to cover up what we did with the terrain paint earlier and for that I'm going to use this base game patch here and I will just like want to have it here. So however normally I would just do it with the tool mod but you don't all have the tool mod I would say. So what I'm going to do is add a basement and then I will go to the basement and then I can just, if I press the 9 key on my keyboard, I can lift it up. And then we would want to see where it should go. And I think it's okay like that. So what I'm going to do now is just drag the wall here and then I can delete the wall and like that. 
we have a perfect hatch which covers up everything here. And I'm going to do the same thing here, but I think I will just do it with the tool mod because that's easier for me. So, and now I'm just going to do the whole landscaping, I think. So now I just did the whole exterior. <laughs> so I just added a lot of plants everywhere, also here on the entry area. And I added some plant boxes because I like how they look. <laughs> and here on the rooftop area, I've added a fireplace and some chairs. And then here I added just a little outdoor seating area, a barbecue and a dining table and this couch here. So then we are going to take a look on the interior. So we need doors and I think I will place here like an arch, maybe this one because it's cute and small. <laughs> and we also need some normal doors and I think we're just going to stick with the theme from cats and dogs. Place one here for the bathroom and also one for the bedroom. I think this space here is perfect for a bookcase. And then we're going on with the bedroom. So I think I will place the bed like that. And here I'm just going to place a hallway table. And I think I will use this one because it looks amazing. <laughs> and one thing I also like to do is use the space you have on the wall. For example, here it's perfect because I can place a bunch of books on top of it. So now the bedroom is finished and there's also another thing that I wanted to tell you about the bedrooms. So basically if you want to place down a double bed you only need a space which is this big. So 12 tiles in total because you can place the bed like in the middle of it like that and then your sims can access both sides of the bed. So next is the bathroom and it's quite small but you can place everything you need inside of it. So what you're going to do is place a shower here in this corner piece and then you can just add a toilet. This one from Tiny Living works pretty nice because it's not that big and you can place it here like on the wall just like that and then you can place a sink here can be any sink <laughs> and then you can just place a sink here and then you have a fully functional bathroom so you could also make bathrooms a little bit different and i'm just going to show you some examples <laughs> if you want a bathtub in your bathroom you can just place like even the shower combo here like that and then yeah, you can place the toilet there and the sink here and everything works. However, you could also do it like that because you only need the left side here from the bathtub to access everything. So this also works, which is quite nice. And one thing I also like to do is if you have a bathroom which is shaped like that, you can just place a shower in this little like bump out here and then everything works as well. And also you could make it like that and this only works if you have Discover University or the Snowy Escape expansion pack because you can just place a sink there and toilet there and then you can place a shower here or like there and then the door can go here and this also works and also one thing you could consider if you build like really small homes you don't technically need a sink in the bathroom because you could also use the sink which is already in the kitchen and for kitchens you only need four tiles in total so what i'm going to do is just build a small kitchen here <laughs> so and now the thing is that your sims need one free counter piece to cook and prepare their meals your sims can cook on these kind of counter pieces but you can also use this corner piece because on this your sims can also prepare food the like end pieces sadly don't work so your sims cannot like prepare anything on them and this could be useful if you like have only a smaller space like that maybe yeah you just place the sink here and then everything is functional as well but now we luckily have quite a big common room here so i can do a, the kitchen like that and yeah i'm just going to decorate it quickly now so kitchen is finished and now i will just decorate the rest i think 
So and one thing I also wanted to mention about this closet is that you can actually place things in front of the left side of the closet because your sims only need the right side to access it. So you have a whole tile more which you can use. So now it's also decorated and one thing I did, I placed down a laptop here because your sims can just drag it into their inventory and like that you don't even need to like place a whole desk space. And I also gave them some skill building items so I placed down an easel and also a guitar so that your sims can do everything they want to. So and now we are finished! <laughs> Yay! And I think that's everything I can tell you right now so if you have any more questions just write them down in the comment section and i will try my best to answer them as good as i can and yeah if it was helpful for you the tutorial which i hope it was then please give it a thumbs up because that would really help me out and if you really like small homes and micro homes and everything then please just consider subscribing and yeah, you can download the house from the gallery. My ID is Sunny Simsy YT. So I hope I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.